Hi, I'm Norman Wildberger, and today we're going to talk about a beautiful theorem from antiquity called Heron's Formula, and how to think about it in a better way using rational trigonometry. So Heron's Formula concerns the area of a triangle, and first let's talk about the area of a triangle, the usual formula for it, which is the area is equal to the base times the height divided by 2. This result follows from a somewhat more fundamental formula involving parallelograms. Parallelogram is something that you get by taking two parallel lines and then another two parallel lines and the area in between those. Parallelograms are in some sense a lot simpler than triangles. So the formula for the area of a parallelogram is that it's base times the height. Height means that perpendicular height. Let's prove it. So here is the parallelogram right down there, and I encased it in a slightly larger rectangle by having some vertical lines. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take this rectangle, and we're going to transform it by sliding that green uh, triangle over. So we slide the green triangle over, then the area white there is equal to the area white there, and now it's obvious that that's B times H because that's a rectangle. So from this result, this one follows immediately because we just divide this area by 2 using a diagonal. And we can either divide it this way or this way. Alright, now we just want to modify this a little bit. Let's just observe that this involves distances, and we prefer in rational trigonometry to use quadrances and not distances. That's easy enough. We'll just say that the square of the area is the quadrants of the base times the quadrants of the height. All right, so let's give this result a name. Let's call it Euclid's Theorem. That the square of the area of a triangle is Q times H over 4, where Q is the quadrants of the base and H is the quadrants of the height. And now we're going to use that theorem and the cross law that holds for an arbitrary triangle to deduce Archimedes' theorem, the analog of Heron's formula. So here's a, an arbitrary triangle, A1, A2, A3, with the usual setup where we have quadrances Q1, Q2, and Q3 of the sides, and the spreads S1, S2, and S3 at the vertices. And we know that the cross law is this res result right here, relates the three quadrances and one of the spreads. Now we can rewrite this law by taking the term involving this product and the S3 to the left-hand side and taking what's currently on the left-hand side over to the right-hand side. So we get 4Q1, Q2 times S3 equals 4Q1, Q2 from here minus this Q1 plus Q2 minus Q3 all squared. And now we just observe that in this picture here we've drawn this vertical quadrants H that this quadrant H is Q1 times S3. Because remember, a spread is a ratio between an opposite to a hypotenuse quadrant. So Q1 times S3 equals H. That means we can rewrite this as 4 times Q2 times H. Well, that's exactly 16 times the area of the squared because the area squared is by up here, Q2 times H over 4. So 4 Q2 times H will be 16 times the area, of the area squared. And on the right hand side we just get 4 Q1 Q2 minus Q1 plus Q2 minus Q3 all squared. That tells us what the area is in terms of the three quadrants. And we can rewrite that more symmetrically in this symmetrical form. And we call this number the quadria of the triangle. So this is Archimedes' theorem, the analog of Heron's formula. And now I'm going to show you how Heron's formula follows immediately from this one, which is more fundamental than Heron's formula. All right, so let's have a look at this page. I know there's a fair number of uh, algebraic symbols here, but I want to show you it's not really that bad. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the result we just proved. That's right along here. 
the quadrate of the triangle, which I like to denote by a curly A because it's sort of the square of the area. It's actually 16 times the square of the area. So that's this expression here that we just derived, a function of the three quadrants. Now we'll suppose that each of these three quadrants, Q1, Q2, and Q3, is itself the square of the associated distance. D1 squared, D2 squared, and D3 squared. And we'll plug those three in here to get a formula just involving the three distances. Now, this formula at this level here is what's called the difference of squares, because that's something squared, and that's something squared. It's like a squared minus b squared. We all know, I hope, that a squared minus b squared is a minus b times a plus b. So we can write this difference of squares as 2d1, d2, minus what's in the brackets here, times 2d1, d2, plus what's in the brackets. Okay, that's that line there. And now we look at each of these bracketed terms individually. The first one, well, there's a d3 squared, which comes with a positive sign, and the rest of it is d1 squared, d2 squared, minus 2d1, d2. We can factor that as minus d1 minus d2 all squared. In a similar way, if you stare at this second bracket, you see that the d1 squared, the d2 squared, and the 2d1, d2 is just d1 plus d2 all squared. And then we have a minus d3 squared at the end there. So we've now rewritten it as the product of these two expressions. But each one of those is itself a difference of squares. So we can write it as d3 minus this quantity times d3 plus that same quantity. And we rewrite this as d1 plus d2 minus d3 and d1 plus d2 plus d3. Now we have an expression for 16 times the area squared purely in terms of the lengths of the triangle. This is almost Heron's formula. Heron's formula in the usual uh, way it's written, it has a square root area, oops, I, this area it should be, that sh square should not be there, sorry. It's area equals square root of s times s minus d1, s minus d2, s minus d3, where s is this quantity here. And if you plug this quantity in here, you see you're just getting these four factors. Right. So this derivation shows that we've derived Heron's formula from Archimedes' theorem, which is more fundamental. So I want you to forget all about Heron's formula from now on, and only work with Archimedes' theorem, an expression for 16 times the area squared in terms of the three quadrants. That's one of the really great results of antiquity, and we've proven it just from the cross law of rational trigonometry. Heron's proof is very long and complicated. All right, so now we're in a position to solve triangles. I'm Norm Wahlberger. I hope you'll join me for that. Thanks for listening.